Hi, quick update for you. This is the second channel, as I'm sure you're aware, which is why the set is not completely lit up. Though I did, I did get the, I waited for the lava lamps to warm up, so be happy about that. Also, some people seem to think that the set isn't real, and they're like, he's never reached out and grabbed something. So, I will now do that. This is my very awesome Epcot mug for Epcot's 35th anniversary, if you've never noticed it. These are all the original symbols of the future world attractions. I don't remember which way that was pointing. Probably about like that. Anyway, you may recall that I paint light bulbs like a madman because I have a thing about... Now, let me just also be clear that this is mostly an act. I don't do this in... <laughs> I don't spend hours every year painting light bulbs. It's mainly an experiment, and it's also just a fun tradition that I've created. So, you may recall that in the last video I said I was going to put these outside, same way that I did the year before, and let you know how things went using the colored paint. And the results are really good! So, here's what I did. I didn't show it, but the set was... the set of lights is mixed with Sharpie colored ones and the transparent paint, which is over there. Uh, and they... and half of it was clear coated with a UV protective clear coat. Now, I expected the Sharpies that got clear coated to run because of the clear coat just completely get washed out, and they did. So that's not going to help the Sharpies because uh, it will break them. But very surprisingly, the painted bulbs were not affected... Uh, I should say, very surprisingly, the painted bulbs were not affected by the sun if they weren't clear-coated. This end of the strand is clear-coated, and you probably can't tell... Well, you might be able to tell in video. I will cut to some close-ups of this, but this has, you know, it's clearly been covered with something, and this half of the strand was not. And to my eyes, the paint looks exactly the same. Like, it hasn't faded at all. These were outside for at least a month on west facing... on a west facing balcony. So they, um... Yeah, I mean, a one month of sun exposure and the transparent paint did not really fade whatsoever. So doing the clear coat wasn't even necessary. So and really, I, like I said, I'm really surprised because another reason why I did the clear coat was uh, not knowing how well they would stand up to weather because, you know, they got wet and I didn't know if the transparent paint might get, um, might be affected by that. But no, they're, they're great. So, and the same thing happened, hopefully you can still hear me while I'm moving this around, with the Sharpies. Let's see, the ones that were not clear coated, so that's these, they're st they faded. So you can see that they faded quite a lot. And um, so yeah, it's, it's really impressive to me how the transparent paint didn't really fade at all. Not even the red, which tends to be rather prone to fading. So, I mean, I, I would consider this a success. And if I got, you know, if I got a bunch of the transparent paint, I need to get a new bottle of yellow because it's, you may recall, it's kind of gross. It's like separating. It could be years old, I don't know. But this worked wonders. This is exactly what I would like to see appear on the market because I just don't like the way monochromatic LEDs look in Christmas lighting displays. I think they look gross. It's too much color. This is... I like the muted look. Not muted, but just... because these are still very vibrant colors, but they're not piercing like so many of those actual colored LED light sets are. So I don't understand why nobody's decided to just make a gazillion warm white sets and color them like this. Do it the old-fashioned way, but with LEDs, because I, I personally think this looks much better than true multicolored LED sets, because the colors are just too harsh, the blue is way too blue, the green is usually too green, and then, like, the other... It, the other thing is, like, I don't know, this, this is the second channel, thoughts are not prepared ahead of time. I don't know if you've noticed this, but the other thing that's kind of weird to me about the multicolored LED sets is that the color's intensity is essentially backwards. So if you look at a set like this, 
yellow is the brightest color, and then red is the next, green is the next darkest, and blue is the darkest color. But then with the LEDs, it's flipped on its head. Blue is the brightest color, and the reds are pretty, well, the red is sometimes not that dull, but anytime there's like an orange or a yellow, they're really dull compared to the blue and the green. So that alone is enough of a reason for me to just say, ah, no, but yeah. So that's all this video is. Yep. Uh, yep. <laughs>